Looks like those are ATVs that burned in the fire. Hey all, Carpetbagger here. I am in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Now back uh, about a week and a half ago, uh, November 28th, there was a horrible wildfire here in Gatlinburg. A, um, over in the Smoky Mountain National Park, the chimneys, tops as they're known, a hiking trail caught on fire. Then it kind of formed a perfect storm when a hurricane level winds pushed the fire into the tourist mecca of Gatlinburg. Um, really awful. Uh, 14 people dead. Um, hundreds of people are without homes. I drove over the day afterwards to, to see it for myself, but the town was closed off and understandably. Um, I saw a little bit of, of the fire damage, but uh, obviously the fire and police did not want people in the city, so understandably I left. Now, today, December 9th, they, they have reopened Gatlinburg to the public. Uh, they've allowed people to live there in a few days ago, but now for the first time it's open to the public. So I drove out here again. I wanted to see for myself. This is one of my most favorite places in the world to visit. Anyone who watches my videos know that I have took in multiple, multiple, multiple videos here. Love this place and I will continue to visit here. So let's uh, take a look and see, uh, see how Gatlinburg is doing. You can just look over the road there, you can just kind of see the fire damage on the, on the trees themselves. Then over here, looks like this was a, uh, maybe an old hotel, old efficiencies. Burn, burn completely to the ground. You see those cars there. But obviously those cars were just parked here. Obviously they were not able to get out in time for the fire. It's important to emphasize just how fast these fires spread through the town. Like I said, these are hurricane force winds pushing fire, literally fire flying through the air, setting different parts of town on fire. There's some absolutely horrifying footage on the internet of people trying to get out of town. There's a, a man driving his pickup truck literally through the burning woods, through burning cabins, over burning trees. Some of the most insane footage I've ever seen. You just look up the street, you can just see nothing but burnt carnage. And these are just people's homes that have just been completely burnt to ashes. This is one of the saddest parts, is all these people currently homeless, just absolutely devastating. This entire neighborhood just burnt to ashes. This looks like some sort of restaurant here. You can see the burned out remains of t tables and chairs. Old newspaper holders. See over here on this side of the road is just complete devastation. Over there, some of those buildings got very lucky. That BBT bank has burnt buildings all around it, but it's actually untouched. And then we have Citizen National Bank is also untouched. So this is a gas station and auto parts store over here. an old ice machine, I think. And what this is, you see there's some cans there on the shelf. Yeah, look at that, that cooler back there. You can actually see some drinks. Bottles of water right here. Uh, 
a local woman actually came up to me while I was filming over there saying that's uh, McKinney's gas station. She said that for a lot of the workers and people that actually worked in Gatlinburg that that was kind of the place they congregated and stopped after they got off work. They said the woman runs it. Her name is Pam and she's actually unaccounted for. So that she was staying in a hotel here locally and did not want to leave uh, because she did not want to leave her animals behind and then they've still not uh, been able to recover her which is just absolutely really really terrifying apparently she she had a place in a lot of people's hearts people called her mom uh, very sad to hear see this smaller hotel out here in front it's fire damage on its roof but this giant hotel behind it actually looks fairly untouched this is the country town and suites here. There's some serious damage over here on this side of the road. Let's see where they've evacuated, checked out for survivors. To the pool actually, it looks like it's full of black sludge from the fire. a lot of downed power lines as well. You can imagine how horrifying this was for the the firemen and other rescuers. Looks like this was uh, some weightlifting equipment right there. an old hotel. Looks like there was a top floor there that's just completely been destroyed. And this playground equipment right in the middle of all these burned buildings is untouched. I mean just look at that. That pickup truck literally just melted to the ground. A piece of wax. Some sort of vehicle, it's just been melted to nothing. Maybe this was a laundromat or laundry area for the hotel. Oh, there's a, two phone booths right next to each other, one untouched and one burnt to absolute nothingness. And look at that, this building burnt to a crisp. And this inside area is just completely normal. It doesn't look like anything happened. <laughs> There's always been this massive house up here overlooking Gatlinburg. Apparently it was a victim to the fire. Okay, we're headed down Ski Mountain Road. This is the road that goes from Gatlinburg to Ober-Gatlinburg, the amusement park up here on top of the mountain. Okay, there's massive damage up 
here to this hotel, only the very bare frame is still standing on that part. Looks like this is an office for the uh, chalets. It's completely burned to the ground. It's a morbid thought, but I'm guessing these X's on the sides of these abandoned cars is to show that there's no human remains left in them. These look like bathrooms left over, and these are maybe the little efficiency apartments. You can actually see those burned chalets. That hotel complex right there, overlooking Gatlinburg. Now, during the actual fires, there's a lot of misinformation about what was being burned, what was being destroyed, what was no longer there. Some early reports reported the entire city burned to the ground. Obviously, that's not the case. And uh, later on, one of the attractions that was listed as destroyed was this hillbilly golf. But actually, it appears, at least on the ground level, that it is unscathed. This building right here, completely untouched. They have like a tram that goes up to the top where you play golf. There may be some damage to the actual golf course, but uh, down here, it looks like things are, are, are in order. It's not open yet, so that may be a sign that there's some damage, but uh, I guess the, down here on the ground, things are looking okay. So it really looks like this main, the main uh, tourist strip in the middle of town where uh, most of the attractions are in Gatlinburg. Looks like it's relatively untouched. From the looks of where the fire was, it looks like it is absolutely a miracle how many buildings were saved and how many of these businesses were not damaged. The fire, there was actually video of this whole mountainside on fire here, but looks like there's not that much uh, apparent damage. The ski lift is still there. Uh, it does not look like it's operating, so there may be some damage to the to the machinery, but it's still standing. All right now, this here, Ripley's Aquarium, this is one of the centerpiece attractions of Gatlinburg, and actually, it was very much in danger of burning during the fire. As you can see up there, that's where that, that one house is burned, right behind here. It's actually pretty terrifying. The marine biologists inside pretty much had to abandon the animals. They were forced, because obviously you can't take a shark with you uh, when you're evacuating a city. So they had to leave all the animals behind. Uh, fortunately, the marine biologists were one of the first peoples that were allowed back in the city the following morning, and they checked on the animals, and thankfully, uh, they were fine. Now this is good to see right here. The mysterious mansion is untouched by the fire. There was actually someone had posted on social media during the fire a photo of the mansion that appeared to be on fire. Turns out it was a fake picture, but it was realistic enough where it actually fooled the owners of the mysterious mansion where they actually posted on social media, thanked the people that had come here over the decades that had been opened, but then fortunately that turned out to be a hoax and it's still standing. Now who would post a picture of a fake building on fire? That seems extremely cool. It's just amazing when you think about over here, on this side of the strip, there is fire damage. On the very opposite end, 
on the other side of the road there's fire damage so you have fire on this side of the road fire on that side of the road and in between you have several hundred businesses and attractions it's an absolute miracle that there was not more devastation or more damage and I know it is horrible what happened I'm not going to downplay that so many people hundreds and hundreds of people lost their homes and several people did lose their businesses but uh, the, the heart of Gatlinburg it's remarkable that did not burn and I'm not sure how I'm not exactly sure how that happened Now this here kind of shows the severity of the winds here during the fire. That sign is completely blown over. It's kind of created the perfect storm with the fire and these massive hurricane force winds. Never thought I'd be so happy to see the world of illusions. It's absolutely tragic what happened here in Gatlinburg. Um, just unspeakable people that have lost their lives, people that have lost their homes, just absolutely, absolutely heartbreaking. Um, they did actually, and this makes it even worse, is that this fire was uh, caused by arson. Human beings started this fire. Um, they did arrest two juveniles in connection with the fire. Uh, I don't know how the laws work in Tennessee. I know in um, North Carolina, if you're charged with anything, if you're 16 or 17, uh, you're still you're charged as an adult automatically, so their names uh, would appear in the paper in North Carolina, but they've not released any names. I don't know how young of children these are, um, but they are responsible for burning down um, a large portion of a city and killing 14 people. So, yeah, I can only imagine how that's... Uh, what's going to happen there. Um, Dolly Parton, who uh, is the number one employer in the area with her Dollywood theme park. And Dollywood theme park actually had some fires near it, um, but were fortunately not damaged at all. Um, she's actually giving $1,000 a month to any family uh, displaced uh, by the fire for six months. So very generous for Dolly Parton. Um, you know, there's lots of ways to help. If anyone out there is interested, I'll put a link to an article um, that lists different uh, charities and things that are helping locals. But then, of course, it always helps to come here to Gatlinburg to spend your money to uh, be a tourist and uh, and help fuel this tourist town. Um, I do want to reiterate here. I'm, you know, I showed all some of the fire damage in this video. I'm not trying to be a ghoul or to gawk at these people's losses. I want to to show the damage and the severity of this fire, and uh, what it's done to the local area here. So, um, to anyone out there that's been affected by this fire, I'm so sorry for your loss. Um, hopefully, uh, people will continue to come to Gatlinburg and uh, help support the city and uh, help um, help it grow again. Alright, appreciate you guys watching.